What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina1, and welcome to my exclusive E3 footage for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to have a lot of videos coming out in the, uh, the next couple of days for you guys. First off, we're going to pick a character, and we're going to go with Cassandra. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, and here is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I never thought Poseidon's anger would be too much for the mighty Cassandra's stomach! <laughs> that storm was more than just anger, Varnavas. That was personal. <laughs> Malaka. Thelos Islands, two sides of the same coin. Thelos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Thelos. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios, that's you. Otharkis, cruel leader of Delos Islands, takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. We arrived just in time to help. You see, Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressively. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Odarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Odarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north, until one day they sent two maidens and five of their men to Delos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Iraklis. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any... immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha <laughs> Here, Cassandra! Here, Varnavas. Alright, so to kick things off, uh, there are a few things that I want to talk about during this play session that we have on all of the videos that I will be putting out. 
First of all, this takes place, obviously, ancient Greece. This is actually before the events of Assassin's Creed Origins. You're going to be able to play as two distinct characters, but they're actually the same character. It just depends on if you want to make them male or female. Uh, you do get to continue the story of Layla that you had previously in Assassin's Creed Origins as the, uh, the present-day character. So this is a chance for you to go back in time even further to unlock the mysteries of this. So you are playing one of the descendants of Leonidas, and everyone knows who Leonidas is, obviously, uh, in history. But if you've watched the movie 300, that was uh, Gerard Butler's character. So in this, uh, you're going to be able to go around a huge distinct area on all of Greece. You're going to be able to go Athens and different places like that. If you're up to date on your Greek mythology, this is going to play a lot into the effect of the game and the series itself as far as the story goes. Uh, you've already heard uh, previously uh, they were talking about Poseidon, of course, so you're going to be hearing all of that Greek aspect uh, stuff going on in the series itself in this specific Odyssey game. Um, we did get to play about two hours of a specific section of demo. We had two different locations that we got to check out. If you're a fan of the Assassin's Creed Origins combat, then this is going to feel right at home as you're going to have the same type of combat that you had with a few extra tweaks. And those extra tweaks are you're going to be able to do these special type of moves. So this game has went full RPG. If you thought that there was still not as much RPG in Assassin's Creed Origins, well, this is going to blow you away. Every little detail, character progression, everything is very, very meticulous in this game. You're going to be able to choose exactly what you want to wear down to the small parts of armor that you wear on specific wrists, arms, legs, things like that. Really, really deep player customization. And first of all, they have up the graphics a lot. We're playing the Xbox 4K enhanced edition of this game, which is why I'm showing you all this in 4K. Cool note, I'm actually editing this on my brand new laptop, Asus Zephyrus. So this is a test to see if this is going to work for editing while I'm at E3. But I'll have a lot more footage for you guys coming out very, very soon as well. One thing to note, that in this specific build, when we got to play this early, before E3, uh, they flew me out to New York, very, very um, excited to have the chance to go out to New York to be able to play this early before anyone else, and I got to record this footage for all of you out there. So there was a main storyline that we got to do, and because of the progression system in this game and how they're changing things up, you are going to have more of a say in how your character progresses like through the story. Highlight. What that means is you're no longer going to have to worry about what the developers want the story to progress. It's always going to be by player choice and you are going to have a say in exactly how everything plays out in the game just like an RPG. So we have a cinematic come up and you'll be able to see exactly what that means right here. Enjoy. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? Sure, I'm a god. You think it's wise to throw blades first and ask questions later? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the Resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. 
These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Vilos was the heart of the Delian League. Athens's pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Vilos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarchis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Now also take a mental note that you're actually going to be able to romance, and this is something that's actually pretty new to the series, uh, you have the choice to actually romance who you want to romance. So you're going to see uh, specifically as we build up in the female character that we're choosing here before E3, and then when I'm at E3, which is when this video is being out, I will actually play as the male character so you all can see the differences between the two. So that way you can decide who is it that you want to be. Uh, I had my wife with me at this time and she really it's wanted to play as a female character, so we chose that. A polemarchos named Taletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos, not long before you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Taletas needs our help now, though he'd never admit it. Sounds Spartan, all right. Let's go. Yeah! So again, if you're playing Assassin's Creed Origins, you're going to get the same type of combat with combat with a few added twists, and we're going to get into the com uh, combat here in just a second. And they're going to see all the differences and uh, the stuff that they've added. They've made combat a little different, um, but remember, we only got to see just a small demo of what exactly it's going to be. So obviously, the more chance I get to play, the more I will get to see exactly how the combat turns out to be. One thing to note again is I was playing normal, not inverted. They did not have an option for me to play inverted, so my combat is not as fluid as I would have liked it to be. I am an inverted player, and that really screws up with my head when you're playing something that you're not used to. Uh, they will have, obviously, inverted controls in the final version of the game, but in this specific demo right now, we did not have the ability to go inverted. One thing to note as well, if you look on the left side of the screen towards the bottom, you'll see a new menu system that you did not see in the previous Assassin's Creed Origins. What this is, is this allows you to do specific special moves that you can upgrade, that you can choose, so you can play the game the way that you want to play it. If you want to be stealthy, you're going to be able to get, like, say, an added ability that allows you to assassinate enemies that are way higher than you. That is a special skill that you'll be able to grab. If you prefer more of a combat role, then you can choose something that will allow you to do specific moves related to combat. And there are a bunch of them that you will be able to upgrade and you'll be able to use differently. Now since they threw us into this, we really didn't know all too much about the controls yet in the game. So in the next few missions, I actually learn about how to use those and what to do with them and whatnot. As you don't see too much of it right now, but in the next few missions, you will get a chance, obviously, to see that. I've got the blood pumping. I 
should talk to the Spartan. You fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout, now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only 12 of you. You think with your heart. That's what I like about you. But you're a general. To those men now, you need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight. And we will. But right now, we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head-on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Then let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. Well, that's going to do it for the this first part of my Assassin's Creed Odyssey footage. I'm going to go into the map here, and I'm actually going to show you a little bit of what it looks like. This is, again, a small portion of the actual area that we're going to be able to tackle into. Obviously, this is a huge area. We've got all of Greece to roam around in, and obviously you're going to have naval combat, actual naval combat, unlike... Assassin's Creed Origins where you just pretty much sailed from one place to another. In this game, you're actually going to have naval combat. So I'm very, very excited for that. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll have more coverage for you guys coming up soon. Peace out.